Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And I am here with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and he is on his uh, Berserker, who is, uh, let's see, level 9? No, level 10. Nope. Wow, you got a level one there. Uh, and today we're over into Moore's Deep, hunting and doing a little bit of questing. So we're in front of this NPC, the Bioparser. We're going to go ahead and talk to him and see what he has in store for us. Greetings! I am Bioparser Zodok. I study the land, and to some capacity, its inhabitants. It's actually such an inhabitant that has captured my interest. South of here, I have discovered a strange plant that feeds on flesh. Specifically, it eats the skittering monitors on the loft. It lashes them to the ground with filaments that it extends wow. from the ground, and then draws their nutrients into itself. Interesting. Very. I've never seen anything quite like it. Any monitors that wander too close are quickly trapped in its grip. I'd love to get some samples of the monitors once Aww. they've been encapsulated in the filament. Perhaps you could lure some of them over <laughs> to the plant and then pull them from the ground once it tries to eat them. Or are you too squeamish? Uh, I, we can do that. That seems a little gross, but yeah, we can definitely do that. I'm a little squeamish about you not giving us any money, though. Bio <laughs> parser. <laughs> the filament strangler, level six, and yeah, he's another cheapskate. So some of these guys in this camp over here, uh, not too willing to part with their cash or uh, you know armor. And don't worry, the plant won't try to eat you. Okay, Mr. It can Parker. recognize the lizards somehow and only attacks them. Besides, you're much now, too big to wrap up. Now I noticed this on the other server up. too, when we're playing our necromancer and your dirge. Right. Uh, before level ten, they were kind of holding us by the hand and making it easiest to find the quest. And now they're kind of throwing us in the deep end and letting us figure it out ourselves. Yeah, a little bit. I mean. Uh... You know, they're always in this game kind of holding your hand a little bit, but I think uh, overall, you know, it's going to be like a lot of the other MMOs out there. You kind of have to figure your way out. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Did we just lose no. it up? Do you get a, uh, an update for this? Uh, no. So I got one out of three, so just make sure you don't kill it when you, uh, you bring it back over. I don't know if you're... Because you're, we're a lot higher level than these guys, so it may be kind of difficult. What do I do? Do I clip? Oh no, I, I attack him. Yeah, you attack him and then stop, and then drag him back over here to this little, you know, plant. Like, watch this. I'll go ahead and do it real quick. This guy right here. And you'll see he runs towards me, and the little plant will actually uh, finish him oh, off. Oh, okay. So and don't then kill you just him. yeah, yeah. You don't want to kill him. You just want to get the aggro. If you have like a taunt, you know, you can use that to uh, initiate combat. Not actually, but make sure you turn your auto attack off. Oh my god. I'm yeah. killing him with one hit. <laughs> That's what I said. It might be a little difficult for you. You may actually have to take your weapons off. So that you don't kill him right away. Let me try my bow. My bow does a lot less damage. It should do a lot more, actually. <laughs> you probably one shot him. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I didn't kill him. Oh. He stunned me. Little guy stunned me. Wow. There we go. All right. And it's kind of weird that it doesn't work with uh, both of us. Like, if I initiate combat, I guess you can't loot the corpse, yeah. huh? Nope. I'm you glad you're here. It would have taken me longer to, to figure this out. Than... There it goes. So you can loot some of the corpses I pull over, at least. Yeah, some of the quests are uh, a little weird. Like, if you don't read them... And you just kind of jump into it. A lot of people will do that. They come over here and collect, you know, 20 or 30 quests. And they just run off and, you know, kill anything they, they happen to see. And they're not reading the quest saying that you actually have to use an item on it or you have to drag it over to a certain location. So you do have to pay attention sometimes. Yeah, I let you do the reading. So right. now I'll have to read a little bit myself. Well, they're, we're not actually reading, though. They're speaking to us. So. Yeah, thankfully over here in this zone they are. And I'm still not paying attention. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. Did you collect them? Yes, I did. Great. These will keep me busy for some time. While I study this collection, how would you like to help further my studies by gathering some trithic roots for me? They're not nearly so unsettling, merely a curiosity. They grow in the tiny jungle to the south. Uh, so that's uh, quest completed, the filament strangler. 
level 6, and he did not give us any gold or silver or copper, uh, and no reward as well as far as an item goes. So, yeah, it kind of sucks when that happens. I don't know why they would do it. I mean, throw in a couple coin at least. It seemed like it would make it worth your while, but uh, these three guys over here, especially this guy right here, uh, Arozike, uh, is really, really uh, cheap. I mean, I think he gave us, what, a helmet and uh, a pair of pants? But yeah. But that I was after like, yeah, after like seven or eight quests he gave us that, so. You know, overall, really, really cheap. And then Crusher over here is actually going to kick him in the balls for that later on. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys can look forward to that. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. If you like these episodes, uh, please take a moment and hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> he went ahead and kicked him for me. He should be rolling on the pain and er, rolling on the floor in pain right now, but he's not. <laughs> That's one tough Sarnak. Right, especially in uh, boots like that. I mean, come on, that would leave some damage. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and call it here, guys. Again, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Subscribe.